hello everyone welcome to ai anytime channel so in previous video we created an endpoint of the toxicity classifier model that we created using supervised machine learning algorithms so we created this endpoint in fast api and we tested that api and it was working completely fine so what we will do in this video is that we'll create a very simple streamlit application okay we'll take that model and we'll try to integrate and we'll have an UI where there will be an input text area and then we'll give our text and in, it will then detect or classify whether the text is toxic or non-toxic. And once we build this application, we'll also deploy this on share streamlit, okay, through GitHub. So if you see, currently I'm on my GitHub uh, repository, toxicity classifier app. If you haven't uh, downloaded this, uh, notebook or the API endpoint you can download it from here and you can test it it out so now what we are going to do okay let me go back to my VS code you can see I'm on my VS code just give me a minute and yeah So you can see this this was our api.py file where we created the endpoint you can see we, the, our endpoint was predict and we what we did we we have loaded our model here okay and once we have this model and tf idf we created this endpoint called predict and then you know we uh, ran that model and got the response okay now what we will do here guys we'll create an app so i'm calling it app.py and here we'll use Streamlit, which is a web framework, you know, to uh, create powerful data science application. Okay, it's it's very easy for you know the developers who have very limited knowledge of web technologies. Okay, so if you see uh, on requirement.txt, I have added Streamlit library. We have to install it as well. I have already installed it, so I'm not going to install. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to just import Streamlit as ht. And rest will be same so i'm just going to take a code snippet from here and what i will do i'll just use this here so what i'm doing here we have streamlit as ht we are also importing pickle to load the model and tf idf uh, features and then we have numpy for mathematical operations and then we have scikit-learn packages you know to run and uh, do the processing of you know feature extraction and uh, other things right so now what we have to do yeah let's create some functions Okay, so what we will do first function will be, you know, to tf idf. This is going to be our first function. I will just take the code from here. So what I'm going to do, uh, take this code. Let's call it load tf idf. Load tf idf, and then I will just pass this here, and I'll just return this. Return tf idf. And the next is to load the model. So I'll say load model. It will be again like same. So we'll have, uh, let's take the model code from here, NB model. And let me just copy and paste. NB model looks fine. And we'll just return this NB model. So now we have created two functions. One is for loading the TF IDF. Uh, here you can see we have saved here, right, with pickle. And the other is uh, the nav based model, okay, the toxicity model. The next thing is let's write the function. Uh, for no toxicity as well so toxicity detection and here we will pass a text as an input and then we'll predict so first thing is to load the tf idf because we have to do the transform we have to uh, use the transform function right so tf idf and we'll use load tf idf so this is the variable where we are using this function right we're loading it so load tf idf now the next is we'll use this transform so you can see, let me just write it over here. You can see now we are uh, uh, using the transform, we are applying the transform function on this text, which is an input parameter, and then we are converting it to an array. So to array, and once we have this text, TFID, now we have to load the model as well. So model, and then here we'll have load model. So here we are storing our model, guys. Okay, so model, and then we'll do couple of, these lines let's copy and predict 
So you can see the prediction, it will not be NB model here because our variable has been changed to model now. So model.predict and then we have text TF ID of variable. We are passing it over here to now get the prediction. That's what we are doing. Map the predicted class to a string. I think that is, this is good. So now what we can do, we can just say return class name. This is what we are returning. Okay, so this is the function that we have created. So now we have three different functions here. The first where we are loading the TF IDF. The second, we are returning the nav base model and the third for the toxicity detection where input parameter is text and we are doing all our operations on these functions. Okay. And now in we have the class name, the result. Now what we will do, we will create an stimulate application and in that, let's first do st.header. I'm calling it toxicity, you know, detection app. This is going to be this, st.header. Toxicity detection app. Now let's also use a subheader kind of a stuff, you know, just to let end user enter the text below. Enter the text below, and now what we have to do? H dot subheader. Uh, enter the text below, and now what we we'll do? H dot. Let's call it text input. ST dot text input and here we'll have enter your text enter your text now this is the text input that we have ST dot header ST dot subheader and text input ST dot text input now what we will do we'll use this function on this text header right so now let's say call it a result to so a result equals uh, Text, uh, what we're going to do now, guys, is that we have to load this toxicity reduction. We're not going to pass text, which will be text input. We have to pass this variable here, which is storing our input text. Uh, let's do one thing. Let's do not do that. Okay, so what we can do, we can say if text input, let's first check if there's a value also or not. If not, none. And then we'll create a stimulate button. We'll call it st dot button. So that will be if st dot button. And let's call this button analyze analyze and this result you can see this is now the result and now what we can do uh, result let's call it ht dot subheader detected result is below something like this okay. and we can do ht dot info we can use the status mess messages uh, we have several status message option in the streamlit being info success warnings you know there there are an error as well so we'll use ht dot info because this is the kind of an info that we are you know uh, presenting on the ui so in ht dot info what we can do guys we can just write the result is and we can do this plus and that will be our result guys so result and okay excuse me this is going to be the ht.info ht.info is done subheader result now let's run this guys and see if we are able to get the desired response so what we did we first imported these libraries streamlit for the web ui and then pickle for loading the model and the uh, TF IDF. Then we have NumPy and scikit-learn packages. Then we created two functions, you know, to load the TF IDF and the model. And then we created one more function called toxicity detection, where we have written our code for toxicity detection using these functions. And then we created a, a streamlit snippet where we have headers, subheaders, and an input text area where the end user will give the input text, and then we'll run the model on top of that input text. So let's now run this. So how we run an streamlit application is like we do streamlit run my file name is app.py so you can see this is the application that we have we say toxicity detection app enter the text below enter your text now in this i will just say i'll just use a toxic okay what did i write there such a 
So I'm just using this uh, statement here, uh, such a F word more on you are right and let's analyze. So you can see the detected result is below with the result is toxic. Right? The result is toxic for this. Now let's try something else. The product or uh, the product was you know, fantastic and I really liked it. So suppose this is my review, right? And I want to just find it out if this review, you know, done by the end user is toxic or non-toxic. So you can see the result is non-toxic in this case, right? So now let's do one thing, okay? What we'll do, if you come back here on VS Code, you'll see that, you know, we have created this Streamlit application and if the same can be, you know, found here, on this github repository toxicity classifier app and you know in the next video we'll deploy this okay on share streamlit okay this that you see that app.py okay so this streamlit application the toxicity detection app you know we'll deploy this application on share streamlit through github okay so they kind of provide the uh, space like you know, around 1 gb where you can uh, deploy your application streamlit application in free so in today's video, uh, just to summarize, we created a toxicity detection app that takes uh, your input text and then classify classifies that between toxic and non-toxic. So, if you like this video, guys, you know, please like this video and uh, subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed yet, and please share the video and channel with your friends and to peers. Okay, thanks for watching the videos, guys. See you in the next video.